glory to Vishnu, Shiva, and the Vishnu! Guys, we are back in Victoria 2. And I'd like to say that this is not just we are normally back in Victoria 2, but we are really back in Victoria 2 because I am now playing in my new computer, and I have to admit, I've already seen a drastic improvement with this and over my last game and over the last thing. So, yeah, I'm so happy to be in this game, like seriously. It's running so much more smoothly, I can go in and out, I can go all the way down, I can go all the way out, and there's not much problems. I'm enjoying it so thoroughly. Uh, dang, man, literally guys, I am so happy to be in this now, it's so exciting. Um, the downside though to this is that I did lose a lot of my last episode's progress, so I had to quickly go fight from a nearby save of one year. And then just like, you know, reconquer it. I actually did it much quicker than my last time because I realized I could actually get the war goal. But anyways, guys, it's time to begin. We have this new crisis that's developing. Basically, China wants to do some stuff. And since we are, since we are the uh, mighty and powerful uh, Indian Empire. What? Huh? Okay, it seems like... Wow. I think... Gunzai just gave up. Wow, I didn't even get to defend. Like, I was hoping that this would become a gigantic crisis so that I could use it to go attack Britain, but... So I could go feed some of these guys, but... Wow. Huh. That was kind of... Anticlimactic, if I must be honest. I was expecting blood, guts, and war. Don't you guys? Yeah, I was, I was definitely expecting guts and war. One, two, three. Yeah, so you guys, you can see I'm a little bit back a ways. Um, I'm definitely still doing all of this kind of stuff. Oh, wait, it's a shit. There we go. But I'm remembering how I do a lot of these controls. And let me just say this right now. Boy, it's hard playing a lot of different games. Like, right now, I, I have a lot of different games when I play. So if any of you guys are going to be complaining about, like, I want this or I want that, just be patient. I do have a safe well, not really safe so I do have a life outside of YouTube. <laughs> Let me just say that life takes up enough of this. An anti-colonial league. Uh, denounce the league. Of course I'm gonna keep my colonies. This is an outrage! Really, China? Uh, uh yeah, that was the event we had last time. We just were like, yeah, we're gonna destroy China. So, anyways, what I'm thinking I'm gonna do, guys, is ooh, the Philippines, they look right for conquest. Um, no. But what I think I'm gonna do, honestly, like, legitly, honestly, is I'm gonna try to take on Denam. Just because the Nam's kind of been our, it's kind of been a nuisance in the last couple of years, and you know, I just feel like I need to conquer them. So, wait, I don't think we can do it for a little bit though. I have a true stomach, don't I? Yep, until 1922. So wait until next year, guys. We have one year of peace. I'll give me, I'll give me a good enough time to start paying more my soldiers for the up and coming upgrade. And as you guys know, we are still upgrading all of our soldiers. Some massive great killers. I mean, they, those soldiers made me so proud. Oh, guys. Okay, so let's see. How many are in here? Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven. There's seven of them, but like two super so Yeah, that's what I'm doing. We're basically just, basically just like including. I'm taking it easy right now. Actually, this is like one of our most crucial areas. Look at, look at that guy. Since it actually on full speed and it actually goes full speed, that means I can actually start managing my economy instead of like having to like oh my goodness back in the old days. Back in the old days, guys, when things was fire. But anyways, I'm having really bad trouble with some of these things. The steamer shipyard, I think I'm gonna close down. Cause that isn't helping us. And the music just got all quiet, which means something either harmoniously bad happened or yeah, we're gonna have to start de-supporting some of these things, because we can't, yeah, this thing, this is not making us any money, so let's just de-support it. I mean, there are certain things that we can support, but we cannot support all these things that are costing us more than $100. If it's costing us more than $100, I think it's not worth, we can basically say we have to take it over. So, a place in the sun! Okay. Okay, our nation is one of the most prestigious great powers on Earth, from Calcutta for whatever. Give me prestige. <laughs> uh, sometimes, just sometimes, the events are a little bit stupid. Okay, United Provinces, alright, that's the next part. United Provinces, you fail. 
like basically all of our um I'm just trying to get all of our factories. If they're not making, if they're making, if they're making mistakes over a hundred, I don't think it should be allowed anymore. So that's what I'm doing. I'm collapsing some of these like really poor, poorly made ones that are costing us a lot. So, yeah. oh, and I should probably mention that I should be recording right now. Man, I keep forgetting about my timer. It's just like I remember at some points, and at other points, I'm like, yeah, I should remember that timer. That time, so you might as might get a slightly longer episode or a slightly, slightly shorter episode, depending on how long this beginning clip was. And now we just inherited James as a poor. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is just. I, I, I seriously swear, this is like the best exploiter thing I've ever done in this game. Like, there is, uh, without a doubt, nothing else that equivalates to this. And, oh, and we're also building massive railroads. Holy shoot, that has a massive railroad system. Let me increase that build more massive railroads. Yeah, we are just... We are just the bomb with the railroads. Okay. Back to this. So our army is possibly the, is probably the most powerful army on the world. No one can even fight us. Not even Britain. Because most of their army is all the way either over in the colonies or somewhere else. Social reform selected. No. I don't want to give social reforms. I'm seriously trying to go for a completely hold out gun ho. I'm not giving anyone anything. Um, I do want to kind of switch over to the to the fascist mode though, because like I said in earlier episodes, I did want to, in my ultimate goal, I did want to get into the fascist. Not because I necessarily agree with the fascist party, they call me a fascist level or anything like that, it's just because that the fascist party is honestly going to be one of the honestly the best party in the game. Okay, without a doubt. They, can, they have the most freedom, they have the most liberty, they have the most, okay, that's a little bit too many units for one. Uh, they are honestly what really drives the game. I mean, you can do almost anything as a fascist, just as you would do in a regular game. So, you know, it's it's honestly not unhistorically accurate because the fascists did have a lot of freedom to do a lot. They could basically change their views at any point in time, and they could say they want slavery or they don't want slavery, just depending on what they do. So it's not completely inaccurate, which is why I like. It. And we'll keep building more soldiers, which is good. We just got a higher tax efficiency. Well, actually, we don't really need to get any more city administration rights, honestly. That's, we're basically good there. We need to get some more historical landmarks. And our economy is now bustling again. With the fact that I've deleted some of these more high-costing... Yeah, you see, now now I can actually deal... I can deal with the rest of these. The rest of these subsidizes are not that bad. But those are getting more and our armies are just like spreading out on the frontier. Oh, gosh. You know, India is like in the most stable position. Uh, way to ruin my fun. Just, you just, we just, it just had to happen, didn't it? I was about to say India was in the most stable position we've ever been in. Rebellions happened. Oh my goodness, what happened to all my men? Did they join these guys? Dang it. That's what happens when you have, ras when you have radical people in your country. That we don't allow freedom or freedom of speech at all. They they rebel. You know, it, it's just a proven fact. <laughs> okay, but anyways, we can now start fabricating claims onto these guys. Uh add the sphere protector. Can I make a puppet? Yes, I can make this a puppet. Do I wanna make him a puppet? I could just establish a protector. But I want my I might want a puppet. Hmm. Let's see, the average military score is twenty-five. What's blue eyes? Nine. Okay, you're my puppet. <laughs> After seeing my own vassal, I gotta say you are my puppet. Uh, and apparently I'm getting more and more disconnected, and I got all that need for me. And everyone, we know how to solve this problem, don't we? Yay! Because I just got a lot of infamy, and so does everyone remember how to solve this problem? I do. It involves lots and lots of funny things. Let's really get spray care. Let's release. Not Bucklinks, that's a little bit too big. Jesmere, Jesmere, and Jamor. And we're back to evenly good. If good, evenly good infamy. <laughs> like, you know, I honestly thought before this, India was probably one of the most hardest campaigns to ever unite. Oh my goodness, I now think it's the best campaign once you actually unite everyone. Because this is just, honestly, let, let's be honest with you guys. We are having extreme amounts of fun. Just like, this is. This is one of those loopholes in the game that they never thought of. And you know what? I don't really care if I'm exploiting this to, to 
much degrading because it's not a cheat. It's ten. It's not a cheat, guys. Because one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so it's six in this one. Okay, because I'm not really cheating because the game mechanics do specify I can do this. It's just, yeah, you can basically just blame it on bad programming. I mean, <laughs> if the game honestly has this to begin with, they obviously didn't program the game. Which is just my, this has been my kind of theory, is that I don't think they really works. In all the Paradox games that they've done, I think they've spent the least amount of Victoria 2. Which is sad to say, because I love this game so much. And I defend this game with honor, with honor and grace, because it is my favorite game. This is my favorite strategic game. Victoria 2, the era of colonialization, the era of of massive cool stuff happening, you know, great, you know, unseemingly important people like the Chinese becoming some great and utterly powerful people, um, you know, changes in the West that revolve around, you know, completely altering lifestyles, you know, the one, two, three, four, five, you know, like, the influence of the Western powers over the world, it's just so much, it's just so much. Guys, they should come back to me unless I accidentally. Oh shoot, I forgot to get a region. Ooh, wait, no, I still got a region right here. So yeah, that's still mine. Uh, that's cool. But yeah, you know what I mean, guys. You know, you you build your you build everything, you conquer everything, and you have so much happening, so many good stuff. This hundred years, it may be short and brief, but it feels so compact. It feels so much energy so much stuff. But the problem is, is that I just don't think Paradox handled it very well. They didn't really know how to deal with the AI or the revolutionaries or the nationalist, you know, rebels that would soon spawn in the nation. You know, because I'll be honest, the rebel system in this is just junk. It's just flat out junk. I get so annoyed by it. And as I, anyway, I think the worst part of this whole event right here is that I get prestige from it too. It's not just that I take them over, it's that I gain prestige for taking them over. Which at turn also rocks me and gives me a lot of good stuff. Okay, some more stuff happening over there, I don't really care. Alright, Denam. Yeah, let's let's do this. Call in allies. Let's see who will join me. Everyone. Let's call them all in. I want I want the Nam to be underneath my it's time. I've, I've given them enough freedom over the years, and you know what? It's time. It's time for them to start feeling my iron here. Because I'm expansionist. That's what we do. We expand a lot. So, but yeah, you know, they, I, I don't know if you guys ever felt that way. Like, I love this game to death, and it's also it's also kind of funny. The mistakes that they also made in this game is also why I kind of love it. Like, seriously. Some of the mistakes in this game are just stupidly terrible, but I love it anyways. For example, everyone knocks on the, you know, um, this system right here. Uh, what is it called? The, uh, the uh, economic system. That's what it is. Everyone knocks on the economic system a lot. That's, one of the, that's probably one of the main reasons why most people hate this game. It's because of the economic system, and they're like, I don't understand this, it's kind of broken, and da 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 da. In some ways it is, I will not deny it. In some ways, this does not make sense. Like, I know they were trying to go for Wall Street, economic stature, and all that, but I'm, a, I'm personally a very big avid fan of Wall Street, and they did not do it well. I'll, they just kind of slapped it on, and it was a little frustrating, but it also makes it really fun. Because then you try to adapt your own your own style to try to fit the game. And you guys are getting thick. <laughs> uh... <laughs> now I have control over lower, lower and upper. These guys have all fallen to me. It's beautiful, guys. That's all I gotta say. Okay, I'm gonna move you guys back. And move you guys back. And move you guys back. But yeah. I maybe just, I maybe just feeling out knowledge and people may not think this way as me. Because I know my fan base is very diversified people because I've had fan bases. I've had people that have stayed with me since I was originally doing Minecraft. I've had people that stood with me from when I was doing my Kaiser vaccines. 
lot of people did just come along when they did see before you too. Or, you know, I'm hopefully gonna get some people when I do before and... Uh, Victoria 2. You know, just all this very diversified strategic game. You know, sense of very much interesting feel, guys. And I really should have tested the audio before I did this, because now I'm worried that this might be a little bit too loud. So give me one second. Nah, it's fine. Like, it's seriously fine. I thought it was gonna be way worse and everything, but it's seriously fine. Alright, so, permanent call knees, close the bars, do, 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 do. all this kind of stuff, it's, it's, it's basically. Enforce the Calcutta, even though I don't really see the point. Because, oh, this is also another thing, it's simulation based with cultures. See, I was kind of, this is, this is another, like, thing that they didn't really handle well. I get what they were trying to go for, they wanted to make sure that people did not conform. You know, because they wanted to make, you know, cultures very strong and very individualistic, which is, you know, the kind of thing that people would go for if you were going for a game like this. The problem is, is that no culture ever conforms. Like, I rarely see a culture ever conform to your, to your kind of thing. They'll stick to where they are. Like, if I'm Germany and I conquer a little bit of France, like, a perfect example is this region right here. This region already has a massive amount of nationalistic, um, France in it, but it also has a good amount of German too. You know, even if I own this entire province, the entire game, it still won't be entirely German. It still would have some French in it, which, you know, you know, as a imperialistic Germany is kind of annoying because I still get rebels and still get demands from them like, oh, you should do this or you should do that. It's like, well, first of all, you guys are a tiny amount of state. I don't really care about you, but second of all, what? Yeah, it's like, you guys have been part of my culture for so long, and you guys still do not accept me? Wow. Yeah, that really hurts, guys. That really does hurt. You know, I don't judge you when you go to war, when you go to go kill people, but I don't know, I don't know where I'm going with that one. Germany, you want an alliance. After I already have an alliance with France. I don't know what you're smoking, Germany, but sure. I have the best alliance in the world right now. <laughs> Germany and France. The only thing that would ruin this alliance is if they go to war with each other. Which is most likely to happen because they are stupid idiots who can't realize that they're fighting an inner game. Which just cause more and more stress for everyone around them. Especially the people that are trying to become friends with them. <sighs> but yeah. A little bit of insight, I guess. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We only have a, I don't get any yet. We have five. We need three more in that unit and then we'll be able to fix those guys. And then we're almost done. I mean, look at how we This is definitely the last, the last bit of the game. The last little push to the end of the game. And I'm actually happy that I can actually bring it to you guys. Because as you guys know, uh, <laughs> little backstory here. To you guys who haven't seen my French campaign and are still watching it right now, close your ears for this. Okay? Um, because I'm basically going to spoil the ending for you guys. Because basically what happened was is that during the ending is that I got messed over my computer could not handle it. I could not handle the class recording so... Or the last ending. And I just could not play the game. I just could not play the game before. It was sad. And really, really disheartening the fact I couldn't play the game and record. I wanted to show you guys the ending of that game so badly, but yeah, I couldn't. So I had to resort to kind of just save in and out, save in and out. It was, I don't know, it's just not the same, guys. As some of you guys know, it's just not the same going through a series and then just like going in and out, in and out, in and out. It's better if you were there actually with the person, experiencing what they did. I mean, I gave you guys the closest thing I could, or the second closest thing I could. I give myself credit for that, but still, I wish I could have done more for you guys. Gaji. Whatever that is, good job. Okay. Um, how are we doing our railroads? Because I know I still want to upgrade those to the utmost. No, that's that's not part of Rock Empire. Okay, let's upgrade all the forts. Because we have money. Because money makes the world go round, guys. Remember that. And if anyone says that's not the truest statement ever, Remember this, what are we playing to do? Collect money. Okay, so we have a couple more factories that are starting to become kind of dangerous. Administration efficiency just kind of jumped up my 
fan, hyper fans, oh um, my goodness. So yeah, we can get more, let's get some into World Cowboy. So yeah, um, I mean, the, I could go, you guys have seen throughout the time, I could go in and out about the different things I, that have been, you know, kind of not handled very well in this game. But all in all, I still think it's a good game. I still love the idea of the nationalist system. I still love the idea of the rebels. You know, as much as they pay me to fight them, they still are nationalist rebels, which are kind of cool. And there's a communist Sweden. What the heck? And Denmark just took a major part of Sweden. What the heck? What? 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 <laughs> okay. So, like I said, there's always something that happens in the Balkans. It's just something. I don't know why. But the Balkans is always like a, a high place where almost something weird happening every single time. Also, this is also pretty weird. Germany is not defending its colonies, which is kind of good. Maybe they will all break off and actually become their own independent nations. It would be, wouldn't be nice to see some independent African nations. Not gonna comment. <laughs> this isn't okay. So we have some kind of fight going on, and one of you guys, since I'm in a pretty stable position right now, I think this is gonna be one of the first fights I've joined in. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was about to say, and this is gonna be the first fight I'm gonna join in for a very long time. But the problem is, is that I don't really want to fight France, and I don't really fight my two allies, Germany. Unless I know which side you guys, what side are you guys gonna join? You guys are gonna join the French side. What side are you guys gonna join? The German side, I'm guessing? No, they will join the French side. So I would be against Russia, which that would not be my thing. Because I want if I was going to fight this, I'd want to make sure I fight against England. Because England is where I really want to get this conflict with. And let's do it. Oh my goodness, I love this. I love this event. Just so much. It's so okay. So I got seven. Let's get my next guys up. I mean, we're about keeping the same amount of army, but I don't really need to make a bigger army than this. I have a big enough army. Okay, we need one more unit if we could in that army. But I don't think I'm going to be able to spawn a little bit more, because my army is still kind of covering. Though it's doing a lot better than it used to. Okay, which is time for massively cool upgrade run. Oh my goodness, that's my useless. Okay. So yeah, we have so much money right now, it doesn't even really matter. We just expand everything. I mean, expand everything. This will probably jump our score up by a lot. But, dang, I mean, we have so much money. We're also getting to the bo bottom of the barrel in terms of how many men want to be serving every single region. But that's okay. That's honestly okay. We can just keep expanding, honestly. Oh, <laughs> uh, my goodness. We have a good, healthy economy right now. Just due to the fact that we could... It's, it's the fact that we can tax other people to make our people fine. That's basically the only reason why we succeed in this world. I'll be honest. <laughs> That's the only reason why we succeed in this world. Okay, and then our, our regions are now like 80% strong. Gosh. And we're improving China by a lot. Alcatraz Prison? Of course! <laughs> uh, Alcatraz Prison, everyone. Best place in the world to visit. Okay, and guys... Before we end this episode, I gotta do this. Let's do it. <laughs> like I said, just complete another annex. In fact, if I really want to, yeah. <laughs> see you guys next time. Oh, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Now, see you guys next time.